Welcome back guys, JC here, and this is how you get LEDs placed onto your NACE32 flight controller. I will show you how to wire everything as well as set it up in Betaflight. Now the once we get to the LED feature tab and setup page, I'm not actually going to cover that again in this video, just watch my last video where I completely walk you through it. I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below as well as the top right of your screen. So first let's talk about the LEDs. You want to make sure you have addressable LEDs. What this means is LEDs that also has the signal wire uh, because the signal will come from your flight controller and tell the LED what color to change to as well as the flash sequences. If you have LEDs like this with only a positive and negative, these are not addressable LEDs. They will only flash one color. You can't change it. If you're using one LED strip, then you will see where it says DN, 5 volt and ground. You can ignore the second ground, you don't need it, they're all tied in together, you only need one. At least one going in, uh, then 5 volt and the signal goes to DN, and the signal wire comes from the flight controller. If you only use one strip, then you will have no wires on this end, it will be completely bare. If you use multiple strips, then you will just run some more wires from the D out to the DN, as well as another 5 volt wire and ground wire. And then you would just continue the pattern if you want even more strips going from out to in, and so on and so on. Just remember you can only have up to 32 LEDs. So these are strips of 8, 8 times 4 is 32, so this gives me the maximum number of LEDs. As far as wiring it into the fly controller, of course, with an A32, it does not have a built-in BEC or voltage regulator, so we need an external one. I chose to use one from my uh, PDB, 5 volt regulator right here. And as always, we use the output pins to uh, run that power and ground wire to power the fly controller. If you use a quadcopter, then channels 1 to 4 are taken. That's why I have the positive and ground coming from my BEC going to channel 5 or six, it's up to you. Then the power and ground going to the LEDs is on channel six, or you can use five. So basically these wires, they don't have to be in a certain order. Uh, they can be however you, you want them. For the signal wire, this is actually on channel number five because channel number five can be configured to be a soft serial port. If you look on the back, you will see where it says LED slash five. And that's all there is to it as far as wiring. Now if we plug in a USB cable and go into Betaflight. So first let's go to configuration, scroll down, and enable LED strip. Then save. Now my LEDs are turning on. Yours may or may not, depending on what model of NAS32 you have, uh, if you are not seeing any lights, then go ahead and plug in your LiPo battery to provide the flight controller with the 5 volts from that external back. Also the other thing you need to know is if you have anything on uh, pins 5 to 8 and using those already as a soft serial port for your say telemetry, on screen display, or anything like that, that is now disabled. Even if, I understand soft serial number 2 is on pins 7 and 8, and you may have a device on that. And you would think that doesn't conflict with channels 5 and 6 on soft serial number 1, but it does. It's not going to work. All of these soft serials will be disabled. So long story short, if you have any devices on those, they're not going to work anymore. So you have to pick and choose which one do you want, LEDs or that extra device. And that's only for the NACE32. If you have any F3 or F4 processor flight controller, they actually come with dedicated LED pins, and you don't have to worry about that problem. You can actually run uh, anything you want all at the same time. Now if I go to LED strip, this is the part that I said I'm not going to cover in this video. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate to show you that it works, but watch the last video uh, that I left the links to in the description below and you will learn exactly how to use this. Okay, I just threw in some random colors, then if I save, 
There we go. Now all my LEDs are up and running and we're good to go. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Uh, I hope I helped you out. Check out the next video uh, for even further LED setup and I will see you there.